So hello there from Switzerland, a very special day today. The first day that uh, I have more than 3000 subscribers in the channel. Thanks to you out there in the world. Thanks um, that you subscribe this channel. I'm trying to do uh, my best as you know, just to let you take part of my experiments with breeding beetles. Of course, together we see you out there. That's a real nice thing, 3,000 subscribers for this crazy channel about what? Beetle breeding? Never heard of that. I wonder when I was looking at the statistics also, why do I have this crazy bump up to 3,000 clicks a day? That is three times more than the, the, the average here. Um, what was that? I was going back to my um, video manager looking for the videos. I said, no, look, this is just a normal video. But now I know what happened. It was the release date of the Bekuwa magazine in Japan. So this is the most well-known, the best and the most elegant, really the greatest um, a news magazine for beetle lovers worldwide and they published an article about us little guys in this little country called Switzerland. Look here, that's Europe here and that's little Switzerland and this is the Bekuwa story here. I mean I copied it only in black and white, you can see it also here in beautiful uh, colors. It's a very nice and long story about our work here. Look, it's about uh, exhibition that we had here in Switzerland, International uh, Insect Fair in Kloten. Then it's about my uh, breeding experiments with the kimchi bottles that we made uh, ourselves with the recipe that you can uh, see here. With breeding Goliath beetles here, that's me with, uh, in, in, the, in the beetle garage, like here. And also then some more of the experiments with uh, kimchi and so on. Really nice and long story. And also with some very cool links here for the Edible Insects channel that I have. And of course for the beetle breeding channel. And that's why uh, the, the clicks, they jumped up to never seen hates like 3000. Um, a day and I hope of course uh, that it goes on like this. Thanks a lot. This is a real honor for us to uh, have this story published in the Bekuwa magazine and that's because Benjamin Horing, this is the pioneer beetle breeder or one of the pioneer beetle breeders in Europe, uh, is a friend to Yasuhiko Kazahara. This is the famous K the guru uh, he's translating the stories. Benjamin is writing articles for Bekuwa. He's also the president of our Stack Beetle Association. So, and that's why we are so prominently featured here in this Bekuwa article. Sorry that we can't buy this magazine here over in this little country, Switzerland. Uh, I hope we can someday. And um, yeah, I, it would feel great just to see that also we little breeders, I mean, in fact, in Switzerland, we can count them on one hand, probably. It's about five to ten people who are really into breeding uh, beetles here. But we are as enthusiastic as you are, and we keep on going with our work. So what I have today is nothing big to tell you. I have to change the male of Dynasties Hercules to one of the other females. He's waiting here. In this box already, this little guy. This is not a very long one, but he's very nice. And he also has this prominent uh, haircut here. I also say it's a uh, look here under the, under the microscopic lens. You probably see it a little bit uh, better. Yeah. It's the Justin Bieber haircut here under the cap. You see that here? Just this little hair here very nice also they have the hairs on the knees the uh, upper thoracic horn here 
and also it's a nice colored uh, male. This is, as I said, it's not very big, so how, let's see how long it is. Let's see how long it is. So this is about 12, yeah, 12 or something like that. But I have to tell you, oh yeah, before I forget it, remember when I was in Chiang Mai visiting the Siam Insect Zoo in Chiang Mai, the famous thing you must see when you go there, uh, you must see the Siam Insect Zoo. We have been talking to Ben, the director of the zoo, he showed me a large, very large pupa of Dionysus Hercules that he was breeding himself. Look here, the, the picture, if you're interested, go to see the whole thing, go back in the playlist here in my channel, you will see the whole uh, guided tour through the paradise of beetle breeding of bin in the Siam insect zoo. And I asked him uh, one week ago, so what happened in, actually to this big pupa? Uh, did it uh, close? And how big it is? And he said yes, uh, it, ha it closed, but it's only 154 millimeters but you know but this is huge i mean this is uh look 154 that would be like a, a big thing like this and it's only 154 millimeters because the horn is a little bit curved if it would be straight like with normal dynasty circles like you see here this uh insect would have been much more than 165 millimeters that's a really huge success for Ben. He's also producing his own kimchi, uh, his own uh, mat for breeding dynasties, beetles. I mean, Thailand is really on the go for that. Also, the beetle shop in JJ Mall, Bangkok, they produce their own mat for breeding beetles. And I heard that also the Thai Beetle Breeder Club is doing it. So that's uh, good if you have a concurrent, you can see who is the best producer of the mat for the most beautiful and most um, prominent uh, beetles, especially these Hercules beetles. Yes, uh, congratulations to Ben. We will, uh, of course, visit him again uh, as soon as possible, probably also this September. Uh, I'm already I'm going there and have a look uh, what he's actually doing now. And uh, I'll let you know, of course, if you subscribe to the channel, you always know what happens out there. So what I have to do is nothing more than here. I have a new, uh, no, what is new? Here's a female already in this box. I don't know where she is, but I can guess from the emptied uh, beetle jellies here that she was already active. But I have seen in the other female where the, the male was that after I put, let's see, after I put this beautiful mango on the top, she suddenly appeared, wanted to eat some of this beautiful mango fruit, and that was the moment when the male appeared also and uh, made it with this female. So, some a thing you know now is they don't do it in the bed. No, they don't. They do it in a fruit. How nasty they are beetles mate yes they they just made on a bed of mango here in this uh, beetle breeding setup and of course now I put this Justin Bieber guy here on the top of the fruit but first he wants to of course uh, keep to his uh, piece of, of wood here of course he's a little bit afraid it's too light too much light here he's already awake a little bit to in mostly in the evening in the night they are more active sometimes you don't see them during the day they are covered underneath some pieces of wood so that's it for the moment you will see what's happening to this male and to the female here and whether we can get i hope so a lot of offsprings uh, from them here in the Beetle breeding channel from Little Switzerland. All the best. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.